Okay, so iMovie just received an update uh, this month, uh, end of August, and it's it's not a huge update, but some of the updates within it are pretty huge because it's going to change the things that you can do in your classrooms with your learners. So I thought I'd just take a moment to jump into iMovie and check out what is new and what we can do differently with the new update. So let's start with audio. We have uh, 25 new soundtracks that we can utilize. And there's some really, really nice things in here. Uh, just a few of my favorites as I've been kind of playing around uh, with this today. Uh, definitely this from the earth. I think it's got a really, really nice sound to it. Nice quiet. You can imagine different movies that, that your learners will make um, using this as the soundtrack from those slow builders so that's a really really nice one um but you know all categorized as they have been before you'll see you know lots of, of new titles um added in here uh, another one i think is really really nice this moonlight track um Again, lots of energy in that. Uh, this one's a this one's a really really nice one as well uh, for for students when they're doing anything creative. Um, lots of young learners will do the super spy stuff. Um, this is one that was on there before, um, but I just think it's nice to kind of um, reiterate, you know, the the power of the music to help students kind of build things. So you can imagine really using that to kind of build their their passion and then um again in the action one there's there's an, a, a few more again that just kind of build that dramatic kind of sense that's just going to make some of the videos and pictures that children are using to create their videos really really come to life so again lots of energy and obviously these soundtracks are royalty free so you can use them and similar to in clips, they will automatically adjust to the length of the movie that you're putting in. Talking about uh, adding things in, let's just take a look and add in some elements now. Um, I've got a nice uh, slow motion shot here that I think I'm going to use. And I'm going to add this. And we know that we can edit all of these shots. Um, you know, this is, this is already quite a nice little slow motion of some fire, um, you know, leaping up but what we can also do now is there are some new filters so some um, you know the classics that you're always used to seeing um, but some some additional filters in here that again similar to what you'll see in clips allow you to just kind of change that effect um, when you're showing your videos off so this one that comic kind of effect so we get that um, you know kind of drawn kind of element to things um i really like the ink effect probably doesn't work so well with with flame although it still gives a really really nice effect but again this is kind of the idea behind things is allowing children to kind of play around and what what feeling can you get from looking at things in a slightly different way so playing around with the new filters thinking about the the different ways that they can bring your videos to life and again adding in that audio to kind of really make things Let's add this together and you'll see straight away, you'll see the music kind of will automatically adjust to the length of that video. So if I play just the end of this video now, oops, let's play it a little bit earlier towards the end. So you hear without me having to do anything, the, the music has automatically you know, ad adapted to the length of that video, so it automatically fades out and the music stops rather than just cut dead so again really really useful for students when it comes to creating videos and understanding that um, at first they might not need to play around with audio editing um, because the music is going to do that for them so there we go just a very very quick overview of just some of the updates uh, in the new iMovie release August 2020.